this is a typical example of pictures with ladies who are caramel skin tone so you guys know what i am talking about so you are dark and you just want to go a shade lighter or two shade lighter you know like more like a caramel skin tone well these creams that i am going to be talking about in this video can make you or your complexion something similar if not like this but something similar to this so now if you are a caramel skin tone and you're just looking for creams you know you're looking for you're looking for creams that wouldn't like whiten you or lighten you but just help you you know bring out that color or you are dark you want to be a caramel skin tone well um it happens to be watching the right video so now number one cream that is good for a caramel skin or that can help you attain that um, skin tone is brown stone yeah i'm going to be um giving or uh, sorry uploading an image of it so you can know what i'm talking about it has um only extracts in it unfortunately um i don't have the bottles here but i have recommended it for um different people and about four or five people i know that are using this cream and it's so wonderful on their skin so now bone stone is a very good cream bone stone is going to um lighten you well not like brighten you but it's going to like make you a shade or two shade lighter depending on how long you use it so now if you um you notice that okay because some people actually complain of brown stone giving them um an unbalanced skin tone okay like it's feeling like some part of your body is fair and some other part of your body is kind of like dark it's a normal thing you know when you just start using a particular cream it takes a while for all your pores to like accept that cream and for it to work very well so our advice if you're going to be using brown stone i advise you use it um it's caribou um scrub it's a scrub it's a salt scrub i'm going to be posting a picture of it an image of it so you know what i'm talking about or you just go with a yoko scrub or any scrub you can get your hands on so while you are using this brown stone you try as much as possible to um scrub your body so that it um, gives you the effect you want so now if you're going to be going for bone stone bone stone is an example of a cream that doesn't like additives like i don't see a reason why you should be adding anything to bone stone although if you want that drastic effect you could decide to have the serum i think yeah bone stone has a serum bone stone has a shower gel bone stone has a soap bone stone has a um Sorry, I got lit a little bit distracted. So, Brownstone has a serum, it has a shower gel, it has a soap, it has a face cream. So, if you want to get the full effect, Brownstone is an example of a cream that you don't like, you're using Brownstone and you want to add other serums to it. You won't really, except if you are an expert in pro mixing, Brownstone doesn't like, it's not friendly with other products. So, our advice if you're going to be using it you use it with the full range number one the number two if you are dark and you're just about starting your skin like new journey yeah you can actually start with bone stone but on two conditions first you shouldn't add the serum to it regardless of how fast or effective you want the um, cream to give you then if you notice oh why you're using bone stone it's kind of like giving you some uh, unbalanced skin tone could just had a any moisturizer any carrier oils carrier oils are moisturizer it could be jojoba oil it could be almond oil it could be sunflower oil you could just add it into or shea butter yes you could add shea butter into the brown stone and you mix it together then that way it would help give you that you know balanced skin tone then also brown stone is not an example of cream that would like give you sharp sharp you need to be consistent you need to be on like two three bottles before you are going to see like drastic results and i advise you not to use you apply the brown stone body cream on your face you, you might not like the result your face might not take it so if you're going to be using brown stone please buy it alongside the face cream so my number two on um the list is bioskin bioskin is an amazing it's a very mild cream that would 
I can guarantee I know of two people that are using it they are dark skin they were dark and it's it's it, it lightened them not like this you know like my kind of lighting but like it made them a shade lighter bio skin without you pro mixing it will just give you a shade lighter and the more you keep using it the more it brightens you the more it glows your skin bio skin is a very very good cream for a caramel skin tone or you're dark and you want to like start up your skin lightening journey yeah you can actually go for bio skin but i'm not really sure if it has the face cream that i don't know then the number three on my list is the um no, my three on my list is the Carotone. Yes, Carotone. You see Carotone and there has been a lot of controversy. Some people say it's actually a bleaching cream. I would say Carotone tends to select skin type. Carotone is not for all skin type. Although bronze tone and bio skin is for all skin type. Any skin type, skin type can use it. But Carotone is not for all skin type. But I mean, there's no harm in trying, right? I know of someone that has been using carotone for about three years and it's so lovely it's so so lovely on our skin yeah but i'll just advise if you're going to be using carotone just to play safe just go use it alongside bio oil or any stretch mark oil and stretch marks just to play safe but then if you use carotone it gives you that like a it's a good car it's a good cream for a caramel skin you would love your skin if you use carotone then my last um cream on the list is the fair and white but now i'm talking about the gold one i'm going to be posting a picture of it so you know i'm talking about the fair and white yes it's a good cream for a caramel skin tone although that cream man the fakes of it ah, are so plain in the market so if you're going to be buying it please make sure you buy it from a i'm sorry about that Make sure you buy it from a reliable yeah so there are so much fakes of fair and white in the market so please try as much as possible to buy it from a reliable source so one thing you should have at the back of your mind is that if you are going to be using a cream and you want maximum effect you need to get the full range but then just before you start adding the serums of the creams or the oil lightning oils of the creams you need to first of all use the cream for like a month you know how it reacts on your skin because sometimes some people cannot take serums some people's skin type doesn't like serum because the cream is normally already active for them on their skin so then again you really need to be careful when it comes to you know applying things on your body and another thing you should have at the back of your mind is that try to exfoliate if you are not exfoliating then you won't get the maximum result you want so those are the four creams on my list for a caramel you want to achieve a caramel skin tone or your caramel skin tone and you're just looking for a cream that will just help you i'll just brighten you up and you know help you maintain your color yeah so those are the creams so please um if you've not subscribed please i'm begging you please it wouldn't take you anything to just hit the like button and hit the subscription button turn on the notification bell so you can notify whenever there is an upload coming from me so that will be all for today bye